Hi, I'm Philip at Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about search impression share of Google Ads campaigns. Now, to start off with, what is search impression share and why is it so important? Well, search impression share is a metric that measures how many of the potential searches from, from customers your ad is showing for. So for example, if there were, just to use a round number, if there were 100 searches for your chosen keywords and your ad appeared for 50 of those searches, then you would have a 50% search impression share. So now that we know what that is, why is it important to know that? Well, it's almost like looking at your market share. It's the total um, amount of potential that your campaign is achieving. And in order to get maximum value, ideally you want to be attaining as many of those impressions as possible, as long as they are delivering you the results that you want in terms of conversions and sales. So if your campaign is very profitable, and it's working well, and it's delivering revenue for your business, then the next step is to look at how do we expand? How do we generate more customers? And so when you're doing that, you'll want to look at the search impression share metric. And a lot of advertisers and a lot of account managers don't pay a lot of attention to this metric. So to start off with, how do you take a look at your search impression share? Well, there are these columns here, so we can see them on the right-hand side. Search impression share, and then there's search, imp uh, search lost impression share, and then in brackets rank, and then the same thing, but in brackets budget. So if you want to add these columns, you just open up, um, you just click this button here, and then you're going to click modify bot columns, and then it's going to be under this section, competitive metrics, and you can add search impression share, and, and the other two metrics. And there are also a number of other metrics that we're not gonna discuss right now, but these can also be useful to look at. But the main ones to look at are these three. And I'll just explain now what those metrics are. So search impression share. This is, as I was mentioning, the total share you have of all of the searches being made for your keywords. And you can break it down by campaign. So some of your campaigns, you might be getting a higher share. Maybe those are more important keywords for you. Um, one of those campaigns might be your brand campaign, in which case for your brand campaign, you want your search impression share to be very high. You want it to be as close to 100%, if not 100%. You want to be sh showing for all of those searches if they're searching for your brand. So that's this column. So then the next column is how many is the percentage of searches that you're missing due to your ad not being ranked high enough. Which is important to know because um, you might not want to rank your ad higher if it's going to cost you a lot more money because there's a cost associated with achieving the top spot and getting the maximum impression share. And so it might not be financially viable, in which case you might not want to explore that. Now, the other column shows search impression share that's lost to your budget. And this is a very, very important metric because this tells you whether or not your campaign is running out of budget early in the day. So your campaign might be running out of budget, as, for example, at 9 p.m. or it might be at 10 p.m. and therefore your ads are stopping running too early in the day. And that happens because one of two things, either your budget is too small or it could be a case that your bids are too high. So you might have the budget set at what you want to be spending, the maximum amount you are um, allowing the campaigns to spend each day. Um, but because your bids are set so high, you're um, spending that budget too quickly. So this is a very important metric and you want this always to be 0%. This should always be 0% or as close to 0%. If it's 5% or maybe even 10%, that's not such a problem. 
um, but you want to get it down to 0%. But if it's high, like 25%, you have a serious problem in your account. You are wasting a lot of money and that needs to be fixed. And the way to fix that is by either increasing your budget or if you don't want to spend more, you need to adjust your bid settings to lower your average cost per click. So you want to be um, reducing the amount you're paying for each click. And you do that by, for example, uh, lowering your bids if you're using manual CPC or if you're using a smart bidding strategy like target CPA, you can add in bid caps or you can lower your uh, CPA target in order to lower your bids. So if in this case... You're, you're, the reason you're not achieving 100% search impression share is because of rank, then you have an opportunity, a potential opportunity available to you. And that is that you can achieve more impressions and more clicks by increasing your bids. So the budget's not a problem. We just need to bid higher so that our ad is going to appear higher in the search engine results page and therefore we are going to get more impressions and more clicks and hopefully more conversions as well of course that's not guaranteed but that's something you can test so if you're at that stage where you're looking to expand um, the first thing to do is look at the search impression share and see if there are any opportunities within your campaigns to gain a higher impression share by increasing either your budget or increasing your bids. So I hope that's been informative and useful. Um, if it has been, feel free to uh, subscribe. I'm going to be sharing a lot more insight and tips like this with regards to Google Ads campaigns. And thanks for watching.